We're going to have a look at a couple of techniques for adjusting the volume of um, individual audio tracks. Um, the first one that we'll do is, is to look at um, raising the amplification of a track. So in this instance we can see that this um, piece of audio isn't filling the full uh, spectrum of audio that it might do, which means that it's not going to be as loud as it could be. So I'm going to select this track by just clicking on its title bar and then I'm going to choose Effect and Amplify. And this will um, automatically detect the amount of amplification that I can apply to the track without distorting it. And if I click OK, you should notice that the track now fills a full spectrum. If I wanted to affect how loud a track was in relation to other tracks in the mix, I can use the um, gain control slider. So if we listen to these tracks together, if I'll just move this one over here so we can listen to them. We can hear the both sort of cancelling each other out, the both about as loud as each other. But if I use this slider here, I can make the music sit right behind the, the vocal track. This is probably the closest to a professional quality that you'll get on a budget, but it's not too quick to set up. It might give you more functionality than you actually need. It's also not... So I can use the, the plus and minus slide to adjust the gain of each individual track. And finally, we'll have a look at a couple of techniques for fading the volume of, of a piece of audio. That is adjusting the volume of audio over time. The first and most simplest one is to um, apply a fade effect. So as with applying any effect, we need to define which piece of audio we want the effect to take place of. So we can highlight that uh, bit of audio. Let's do it to this one so we can see. And then I choose effect, fade in and we'll see that it fades in over time. Okay, and if I go edit, undo fade in, and I choose effect fade out, then we can see it will get quieter. Okay, so the fade in and fade out effect um, is effective. There are a couple of problems with this. One is that um, it's not very subtle. It will only fade to completely quiet or fade from completely quiet to, to loud. Um, you can't control where it fades from and to. Another one is that if I decided actually I don't want to do this, I want to maybe change the way that this fade works, I can't go back and, and adjust it after the fact. So if I edit undo fade out, We'll have a look at a slightly different approach. I'm going to zoom in before I do this. And then I'm going to use the envelope tool. So if I select the envelope tool, then it will allow me to set points in my audio and I can control the volume at these points that I've set. So if you see that I've clicked with this tool and it's setting a number of white dots in the audio. Okay, and I can use those dots I can drag with my mouse on those dots to make the audio go, well in this case it's going to go from loud, it's going to fade to quieter and then fade back up again. So let's see how that works. Okay, and if I decide actually I don't, I don't like that effect, I want it to go quieter in the middle, then I can just come back and adjust these. So it gives me a lot of flexibility to come back, control exactly how the fade works, and then come back and make edits. Um, so there, there's four effects, four, four different options for changing the volume of your audio. You can amplify the entire track. You can use the gain sliders to um, adjust the relative audio of a track um, in, in the overall mix. We can use um, fade in and fade out to make a track go from loud to quiet or from, from silent to loud. Or we could use the envelope tool to set points and um, define how loud the track will be at those points.